Georgia local weather authority forecast. The rain free trend continues across the basin. This is a live look that's Tulsa early on your hump day. Your Wednesday morning city lights not really highlighting much of the wave. Any clouds still dark out there were under night vision. That's why we're seeing the, the black skies, the dark skies. City lights highlighting a little bit of the mist out there becoming a little bit more humid compared to the past couple of hours. So it's kind of a pendulum swing between the humid air to start the past few mornings to the drier air in the past few afternoons. That trend will continue today, but it will be a little bit sunnier and hotter compared to the past few days as a heat advisory is in effect till 10 p.m. Central time for the Big Bend region. Like he does, you guys are included to Dryden and parts of Brewster and Terrell counties for temperatures at or way above 100 degree mark. So make sure you guys stay hydrated and stay indoors and cool out there. The hotter and drier trend will eventually really win out later in the week. It's all courtesy of these high altitude thin clouds rolling on through. These clouds usually signal in that weather pattern change moving through also east central Texas. Those clouds will continue to, you know, come through the sky throughout the day today, but likely not producing any rain as temperatures will skyrocket in a big way. Winds coming in from the south southwest right now in the tall city, switching a little bit more from the east northeast within the next couple hours before switching back from the west southwest that'll allow that dry air to filtrate its way across the region slightly stronger winds in the guadalupe mountains where winds may gust more than 30 to 40 miles per hour elevating the risk for fire weather that's also something that we've got to watch out for in the next few days mostly clear skies 71 right now in the tall city with a relative humidity value at 47 percent pretty humid but not too dry, not too humid, and not nearly as humid as compared to the past few mornings as we will be seeing those winds pick up, but not too much, especially east of the Trans-Pecos. Upper 60s, lower 70s, in and around Midland and Odessa, lower 70s in the Trans-Pecos, even warmer near the Rio Grande, where yeah, Rio Grande may get very close to the 105, 110 degree mark, including places like Dryden under that heat advisory. Upper 90s, lower triple digits in and around Midland and Odessa. A little bit cooler in Big Spring and Snyder, but not quite as cool as yesterday as temperatures will skyrocket in a big way despite the muggy start. Upper 60s, lower 70s for your morning commute. Then warming up in the mid 80s with a bit of a north northwesterly breeze later this morning, early this afternoon, warming up into the upper 90s and triple digits this afternoon, right around 98 at 4 p.m. High temperature today, 99, very warm, but slightly cooler later this evening. And as we head throughout the evening, we're going to be seeing some clouds roll on through, but north of I-20 from Hobbs to Andrews and Seminole, the clearer the skies will be. But generally, skies will remain mostly clear throughout most of the basin. 70s overnight with winds starting to switch back from the east-southeast, so becoming more humid late tonight to tomorrow morning. But later tomorrow morning, drying out once again, starting off at 68 with winds switching back from the south and west. So again, the pendulum swing between humid air and drier air will be the big story throughout the next couple of starts in the mornings into the afternoons. 99 today, 104 tomorrow, even hotter and drier throughout this weekend.